So for which organization you are applying? Same. You are applying. Uh, sir, I am applying for POSOCO, uh, assistant okay. manager. Okay. And today you want to give the snap for which subject? Uh, sir, power system. Power system. Okay. Tell me one thing. Uh, what is the role of power system in POSCO in an organization like POSCO? Sir, POSCO is uh, basically the central load dispatch center. So it mm -hmm. it uh, it operates the operation of all five grids that exist in India. It uh, mm -hmm. It it uh, communicates with all the local grids and all or all, all the local power stations and uh, tells them how much generation uh, how much generation they need and how much power to flow through the tie line from one grid to another or some load forecasting also they do. <clears throat> okay, so in the load sharing, okay. Yes. In the load setting, what is the key factor that we have to keep in our mind? Uh, sir, one thing is that we have to uh, distinguish between uh, important and comparatively less important consumers. Uh, that can be one thing, like hospitals and uh, this. Uh, okay. This. If I say, if I if I say, distribute between the daily uses and for the emergency purpose. How this load sharing should be done? Sorry, sir. Uh, please ask the question again. How the load sharing should be done depend upon the priority. Uh, sir, we have to de uh, design the protection system in such a way that in the event of fault, uh, the, the the there is a backup. There is a backup uh, generation system also available to the emergency. Uh, emergency part of the consumer portion. For example, hospitals or any other important consumer. For the, okay, okay, Sam. Uh, for any emergency purpose, take example of the power of the any steel, steel manufacturing company, right? Where the, where the electricity is very much necessary. So, uh, for the survival of the of the production, and the electricity should not be cut off at any moment of time. Yes. To maintain the constant electricity, how many, uh, what are the number of ways to, uh, to inject the electricity so that the continuity should be maintained? And what are the possibilities way of sources? Sir, uh, one option can be to, uh, to seed such load to double circuit transmission lines double circuit or uh, or multiple uh, transmit through multiple transmission lines so if fault develops on one transmission line that transmission line can be cut off from the supply and there will be another transmission line to feed such loads so double circuit use of double circuit transmission line to okay, feed one is double circuit and another yes. one and um, for the emergency purpose? For emergency purpose, sir, uh, if, if, if certain, uh, there can be local inverters can be there. So in case of power failure, power can be supplied through inverting the- what do, by, what do you mean by inverter? And how this inverter is correlated with the UPS system? Sir, inverter is a power electronic device that converts uh, DC to AC. Okay. And for the sake of continuity, how this invert inverter play the role? Yes, sir. So, for example, the grid grid supply fails, then there will be some storage battery, which is basically DC. So, inverter will convert the DC into single phase AC. What Most are the possibilities of, of grid failure and how the, this grid is being distribute, distributed? The possibility of grid failure may, uh, will happen if the backup, backup relays also fail. Sometimes, so first of all, whenever a fault happens, the first job is given to the primary relays to negotiate with the fault. If primary relays fail, then backup relays come into the picture. But okay. because I because got your of, point. Okay. Yes. If suppose, of, if, if suppose, okay, mm, listen to me. If yes. suppose if the storms come and the line to ground fault has happened, right? <clears throat> then uh, what is the role of primary? Relay and the backup relay, and 
please specify in the which type of relay you will use if the storm come and if you are a assistant manager mm -hmm. and what are the norms and the practical procedure you will follow so that the any fertile uh, fatigue should not be happen in any particular area yes sir so uh, sir for primary protection i will use mainly relays or circuit breakers and, and which, for type of, which, which type of relay and which type of circuit breaker please specify no sir i am talking about circuit breakers and fuses in backup protection i will use fuses okay no no yes you are a technical guy no so please specify 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 in your answer that for yes, a certain sir. grid yes. Uh, and for certain power rating, I will use this circuit, this circuit breaker and this type of relay. Yes, sir. Please uh, mention this in your statement. Yeah. Yes, Continue. Sir. So relay senses the fault condition and circuit breakers actually disconnects the supply. So for up to 33 kV, uh, normally uh, SF6, either SF6 circuit breaker of, or vacuum circuit breakers are used. Beyond 33 kV, vacuum circuit breakers become uh, uneconomical. So generally, SF6 circuit breakers are used. And which relay to be used, it depends on nature of the fault. There may be various relaying scheme is there like overcurrent protection, distance protection, di uh, differential protection, carrier current protection. So mm -hmm. it and there are depends on whether the protection needed is a unit type or non-unit type, then the relays have to be selected. For example, differential relay is a unit type protection. So it will only uh, respond to faults within the protection zone. Outside the protection zone, it will not operate. Whereas overcurrent relay, it will operate for both zonal fault or through fault, like that. Sir. See, uh, what I have asked, you have uh, specified these are the type of possibilities, right? Possibility yes. means I'm asking if, if, if this fault has happened and the, but what I have asked, I have asked you the case study, right? If you are a stand manager and if there is a storm come, line to ground fault has happened, then what will you do? I'm, I have not asked about the type of the yes. distance, the type okay. of the circuit breaker. What is the difference between circuit breaker and relay? Getting okay. my point. Okay, okay, I understand. Yeah, specify uh, with your answer and listen to the question and understood it. Yeah, continue. So, uh, sir, when the say, storm comes, so mostly the type of fault will be over voltage fault. So, over voltage uh, fault will be, means the lightning arrest, lightning arrestor will uh, the, bypass the surge current. So, in that Yes. So under that circumstances, I will uh, I will uh, disconnect a few feeders, the a few important feeders if necessary. So th that would be uh, manually trip a few important feeders. So uh, that is the first thing that to, that is to be done. This is what I can think of. And if uh, and. Uh, Yes, sir. This is what I can think of. What do you mean by feeder? Sir, feeder is a part of distribution system. So first part of distribution system is feeder and distributor. Feeder means which carries the uh, power from uh, uh, secondary substation to the secondary okay. If I talk about the power transformer, yes. then what is the role of feeder? Uh, if, is there any role of distribution transformer also? And Sorry. if I display, so if if the if there is a power transformer, right? Yes, yes. The role of feeder is being implemented. Feeder role, of the, feeder? role of feeder is being implemented because yes. to feeding to feeding the center, right? Mm -hmm. If I am replacing this power transformer with the distribution transformer, mm -hmm. so what are the consequences of it, of the system? To, to become failed. Yes, sir. So uh, for, first of all, power transformers are designed to have designed to have uh, designed in such a way so that it has maximum efficiency at full load. Whereas distribution transformer has maximum efficiency at half load. So if the power transformer is replaced by distribution transformer, the 
the losses will increase because distribution transformer it's it's not necessary that distribution transformer will always operate at a particular load so is the is the losses is related with the voltage regulation uh, sir uh, vo voltage regulation is more important for distribution line for you have asked for transmission line so feeders right i am asking for the transformer is the losses is related with the voltage regulation yes or no yes sir to some extent related uh, voltage no. regulation is percentage r cos phi r plus percentage x sin phi r percentage x term is there so which is per unit resistance mm -hmm. continue so if uh, percentage uh, so resistance is increases so it will increase loss at the same time the extra resistance will cause voltage drop also it will uh, make the voltage regulation poor that means more voltage drop in the wire okay so uh, listen your interview is over i am um, giving you the feedback okay. see <clears throat> uh, the interview pattern has been changed okay they will not ask about the definition of the transformer okay difference between the circuit breaker and the relay Oh, no. Moreover, they have switched to the case study of the situation, right? POSCO, okay. Oh. And this therm thermal pro production uh, company, okay, NHPCL, uh, and sorry, NTPC. Oh. So analyze the situation, right? And uh, listen this interview. Right? The recorded is being saved in the panel. Talk with the seven. Listen this interview and the question that I have asked, and analyze the uh, answer in a one or two different way, right? Uh, they will ask the question like this: uh, maybe, may not be, but there is a possibilities, right? So, uh, so this one uh, that I want to suggest to you, and one thing that I want to uh, give the suggestion regarding your inter interview. Uh, what I get is that you thinks that your answer is right, and although uh, without understanding the uh, understand the question, what the interviewer is being asked, you frame the answer in your frame. Okay. So please change that frame and ask and judge the question depend upon its potential. Right. Don't be judgmental about your answering. That what the answer I have said is, is correct. Whatever the interview has been asked, if I say what will we you do, then you will not uh, give the difference between these two. You will say only the okay. specification and your step. Right. Okay. See the interview is just like the written examination. Uh, you got fifteen or twenty minutes, so it's the number of question you attempt in a correct way. If you if you waste your time in a one question, uh, then uh, automatically your time will finish, and the interview will say, "Okay, finish your time." Okay, thank you. So it's just like the written examination. What my point? Yes, it's the technique. Uh, <clears throat> never lose. Uh, so hope you are good. Your answer will good. It's good, but uh, try to change the direction. Okay, there is no doubt about your knowledge, uh, but there is a problem in uh, delivering your answer. Uh, sir, uh, I actually uh, couldn't understand a few questions like. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that is what I mean. Load shedding question, sir. Uh, what would be the what? This is what I'm asking. Sir? That is what I'm saying. Uh, if you can't understand the question, okay. In a one time, then please say, okay, sir. Uh, is this question is this? Then the interviewer will make you understand. Okay, no, uh, I want to ask this. Okay, please be clear with the question. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, this this uh, this is very and the uh, and in the power system uh, mostly um, for analysis it is done protection part it is done. And about the reservoir capacity, also they are uh, in the previous, yeah, hot reserve, spring reserve, film reserve. Mm -hmm. About the distribution uh, factor, 
diversity factors mm -hmm. and india how many uh, what is the percentage of thermal production and nuclear production mm -hmm. renewable energy and one question that i have not not asked regarding the renewable energy resource yes uh, so it will take two or three power systems now to okay Sure. Um, there is a micro grid, there is yes. a concept called micro grid synchronization in which we are synchronizing the renewable energy with the, uh, with the present non renewable energy oh, so you mean the smart grid approach that yeah smart grid okay so major uh, major focus um, of our preparations would be on the power system thereafter machine and some part of control system Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir.